I've had a lovely morning. I've got to say, it's been a really nice start to the week. The sun is shining. I got up nice and early. It's like, um, yeah, quarter six or something and went for a run. <sighs> so nice. I love, love it when it's like nice in the morning and I go for a run. And I'm so sure for myself, I managed to. This may not be much for lots of people, but for me, this was like a big deal. <laughs> I ran like 4K straight. I've always had to like walk for a little bit in the middle. I ran just 4K. I'm so chuffed with myself that I managed to do that this morning. And then we've all just done Joe Wicks PE as a family. Good morning. People just had like breakfast and on while I was on a work call and stuff and then we're gonna go and do our little daily walk exercise. I have no idea to be honest. Is anyone even counting anymore? Like what do you know what? Let's let me see what day what day of lockdown are we on? Um let's have a look. We are coming into our seventh week of lockdown. That starts tomorrow, our seventh week of lockdown, and day forty two. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's May the fourth today, Star Wars Day. I was gonna do that, but that's that's Star Trek, isn't it? I can't even do it. That's Star Trek? That's Star Trek, not Star Wars, isn't it? Oh, this time a few years ago, we were in Singapore for Star Wars Day. Oh, that was amazing. We went to the gardens of, gardens by the bay for Star Wars. Well, we didn't know it was Star Wars Day. And we, well, we did know it was Star Wars Day, but we didn't know they were doing anything different. And they had this, like, this special Star Wars thing. It was pretty cool. They did like a 5K run, I think. And I don't know, it was pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to go off on our daily walk now. Before we go, Stephen's going to try and fit a pedometer. To his bike? No? You think it's a... Oh dear. What do you have to do? Change plan, it's too complicated. We'll do it later. Everything feels a little bit, a little bit lighter with you. Lovely, lovely walk. I was gonna say work, it's not work. A lovely walk. It's glorious outside. I wasn't expecting this lovely weather. The excitingness of the afternoon is go through the cupboards and see what we've got in, make a bit of a meal plan for this week, see how far we can get our food to go because we've just finished our two week meal plan that I did, well, two weeks ago and we went, when we went shopping. And we've still got enough food potentially for another week, so we're going to see if we can if we can sort of stretch out going shopping maybe another week. Um, don't know if that'll happen. We'll see as I go through the cupboards. Probably what we've got in, but I do feel like we've probably got loads, and we may have to do like a nip for vegetables and things. But we're pretty good for I don't know, like just beans and like just store cupboardy stuff. Let's see what have we got. What have we got? Okay, we've got loads and loads of soup, beans, a starter. Oh, what are you doing? 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 What are you doing? What do we have? Pasta, lentils, get up, get up, possibly makes no sense, you possibly can't even read it but it makes sense to me, that's my note from going through the freezer and all the cupboards now to put over here onto this week's plan. I'd say that's the best meal plan I've ever done. I'm particularly liking Sunday. Whatever the heck we've got left. It's been a pretty chilled out afternoon to be honest. We have been doing mostly this. <laughs> What's over there? <gasps> wow. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. 
Nothing at all. I'm like Mary Poppins. Practically perfect in every way. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> And I now just want to have my easy leftover tea and get into bed. <laughs> you should go into look thingy and get your the miles, you know, your daily to go and get your bed. I don't want to get up today. Oh. Let's go. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. Me and Stephen are on a nice little walk together by ourselves today. It's this is the first time we've done this since lockdown. We've come out because we're gonna we're having a little chat about Stephen's got a English speak what is it like speaking and listening exam yeah. thing like speaking and listening exam and so we're we're sort of just having a little bit of a chat about it and he was we weren't struggling were you we just wanted to have a little chat really and so he's got, I think we, he thinks he's gonna do it on climate change so we're just talking about it and how we can do like what he can say and stuff to help with well not to help with necessarily but because of Stephen's talk thing that he's doing on climate change we're just watching what's it called climate, climate change, change the, the facts, facts. <laughs> yeah climate change the facts climate change the facts it's like a bbc documentary thing and um david attenborough's just come on the telly what did you say i've never seen it before, never seen it before. Stephen just turned around and was like whoa i've never seen it before <laughs> Is he older? You've only ever watched like, like the animal, like you said, like the animal. When you hear his voice. Yeah. Now you know what he looks like. You've got a face to put to the name. <laughs> it was your face. You're like, whoa. <laughs> so that's David Ashton. But we're out on our daily walk. We've come today to the duck pond. Ah. What? What? They are loud today, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, I was just going to stay here, but if you said there's loads of babies over there, we'll go over there, hey? Can we give them some food? Look, get some out. Ugh. Are you ready, ducks? Oh, it flew back on our faces. Is he fast? He's coming. Hello, Steven. such a glorious day we're gonna sit here and colour in some sort of rainbow pictures and some VE day we're gonna do some flags Union Jack flags to hang up our win on our window on Friday for VE day I feel like I'm inside a rainbow Today is VE Day, 75 years since the Second World War ended and obviously there was going to be lots of celebrations around it but they have all been cancelled because of Covid and so we can't go anywhere and do anything so instead we are going to do it on our driveway. Welcome to this special programme marking the 75th anniversary of VE Day when Nazi Germany surrendered to Allied forces and the Second World War in Europe was declared. <laughs> So 
so far we have some of our flags that we coloured in and some balloons I didn't have any white ones but hey and we've got this also by pure coincidence look what I did this morning when I got up didn't mean to do it red top blue jeans white properly dressed for the occasion red white and blue me and Steve just out, little ones asleep, large asleep. Lovely sunny day. I'm playing on a bit of Animal Crossing because Stephen unfortunately has some um, schoolwork that he needs to finish his English uh, talk thing. So he's just trying to get that done and then we can just kind of relax and enjoy ourselves. It's lovely, glorious weather. We're getting a bit more sorted. We've got our pims, scones. And there are also extraordinary testimonies from soldiers who were serving on the continent who describe what it was like. The night after the Germans surrendered in northwest Germany, Denmark. Officially, at one minute after midnight tonight, Tuesday, the 8th of May. But in the interest of saving lives, the ceasefire began yesterday to be sounded along all the front. It is time for scones, jam, okay. <laughs> Are you going to do Danish? Not Danish, uh, Devon or Cornwall? Whether jam's on top or not? Yeah. Cornish way. I don't remember which Cornish way. is CJC. So know. it's Cornish is jam then cream. I don't know what I eat. <laughs> okay. Ooh, everybody wants some. Mm, nom, nom, nom. It's juicy. Yeah, but C for Cornwall. Oh, this is going to be. Yeah, because it's easier. Are you ready? Wow. VE Day celebrations all finished. It is the following day and wow, it's glorious here. I hope that wherever you were, it was a glorious bank holiday as well. We have just been out for our daily walk. There's a sun in the sky, there's a cloud drifting by. All kinds of birds make you wish you could fly. And in the distance I see someone waving at me. Our plan, well not I think, I know, our plan for the day is to get in that garden and enjoy the sun. Should we put the barbecue on? You want to see? Do you want to do it Stephen? Oh, yeah. yeah, you want to do it? Ben. Um, I mean, I'd put it up right. Like the bag, yeah, apparently so. I think you just put put the whole thing. It yeah, turn it round. It, it's. it's so... This is the first barbecue of the year. Yeah. We had a barbecue. No, we haven't had a barbecue, have we? Eight matches. On Peter. They haven't been breaking. Do you? Oh, oh, oh. It's a bit. Ow! Oh, that's something spiky. I don't actually know if you. Yeah, you are supposed to do the best. Lazy barbecue. Underneath. Nah, I'll drop it. I mean, I think it's probably. <laughs> yeah, go. 
Bang, bang, bang. Good, yeah. yeah, I think it'll probably be all right. Nice. So 20 minutes from now, we'll be ready to cook on. 4.35. Okay. Yeah. I've just made a beetroot and walnut spinach salad. And we've got potato salad back there to have with our barbecue. Oh, I'm going to stack them like that in the fridge. Hope they don't fall. We're having a bit of a disastrous barbecue. We didn't have enough coal, so we're kind of... Just doing what we can, adding some, yeah, improvising, adding some, whoa, adding some cardboard and adding some compost stuff and, oh yeah, that's good. It's working. It is working. Just, we need to make sure that things don't need turning now because we may be just like, charring everything on one side. Where's the turner? Have I got the turner? Oh, I don't know. Up here. <laughs> We're cooking our food. Yeah, that, like that burger in the middle probably is. I think everything's done, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? Done, do you reckon? You're just enjoying yourself? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a pyro. What do you call it? Pyrotech? I was going to say pyrotechnic. Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. <laughs> Ooh, delicious. Mind that salad? I don't mind the beef. Yeah, but so. If you just pull it all up together, it's a bite. Next Saturday. No? Oh, it's just like private. Like, I don't know because there's like nine seats. 